Well, the new Grounded update released today, and we've got a couple new things to check out, some of which are pretty exciting, like the new mutation perks that you can unlock while playing through the game. We've unlocked the- Oh, Jesus! Where did you come from, homie? Uh, we've unlocked a few of these already, uh, but today we're going to be focusing on the bird. There's the bird right there. We call him Thick Bird because he's a big old boy. And this bird will drop feathers. Currently, you cannot fight it. We tried uh, during our live stream today to actually fight this bird. You can't do anything. Everything just falls right through it. But maybe in the future, we'll actually be able to take it on. Uh, but this bird will land at various locations throughout the map and drop feathers. Now, we know for certain, obviously, it spawns here at the fountain. But I have noticed one issue with the feathers. I noticed they fall through the ground. I saw one drop... And it fell into the water and then comp and then disappeared immediately. I don't know if it's a glitch or because it happened to fall into the water. Uh, but this is one location that you can acquire the new bird feathers. Now, we'll also be covering all of the new mutation perks in another video. So definitely make sure to keep an eye out that on the uh, on the channel. Uh, but we're going to see if Thick Bird Boy here has dropped a feather for us. Also in this area, you can find uh, the new... There we go, right there these uh, water fleas which if you kill them you need to use a spear to be able to kill them they'll drop new meat that you can craft into a new uh, smoothie oh or dipped out i guess we'll see if there's any feathers you don't actually need to go all the way up to the top for the feathers the feathers kind of fall off its little tail and they'll fall down on the other side of the fountain over here so if you really want to make sure that you catch them and they don't fall through the ground i've noticed that they fall right on the other side of here mine fell into the water it bounced right into this little pond here and then disappeared so this is i imagine where this spot's um feather is going to drop so i guess what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait here and we're gonna get the get this new feather because we can craft a new bed with this and also if you really like using the bow uh we've got a new hat that you're really gonna like and it's dapper oh there's the bird and i think oh of course he's landing all the way over there all right, so we're going to have to go all the way over there and see if his feather actually drops or if it falls to the ground similarly to here, which means you're going to have to, like, actually make sure... If it is, in fact, falling through the ground, you're going to have to make sure you're under him when he actually flies in. And he only seems to do it may maybe every three or four days? Kind of hard to say. He definitely doesn't do it every day, unless maybe it's kind of just like this random chance. Not 100% sure on that yet. So I actually see the bird right there on that table, which is actually outside of the uh, the current territory in the game. You can actually get there, but there is no feather on the ground. This is a nightmare. Okay, wow. You really need to pay attention to where the bird is flying. Because uh, I just saw a feather fall off when he flew off of that table. And it landed somewhere over here. We gotta find it. Oh, I think I see it. It's in that grass right there. All right, so yeah, definitely make sure to be looking up. If you see a feather fall, there's a solid chance it might be stuck in the air on some of this grass. Now, hopefully, when it officially falls to the ground, it doesn't phase through the ground like I've seen before. Okay, so there it is. I'm my own baby. Need me a feather. I don't know how many feathers we're going to need to craft this new object. Sweet, it didn't fall through the ground this time. Oh, and then we can harvest it. So you need a... What is all that noise? Oh my god, look at all the ants. The ants are on just going absolutely insane now. Did we automatically pick up the bits? Pro feather piece. Okay, did it just explode everywhere? All that slapping, we got one crow feather piece? I feel like it exploded everywhere. Well, let's scan this bad boy here. This should give us two new recipes that we know of. Oh my goodness. Hello, Raw Science. That's new as well, by the way. So we got the Marksman's Cap. Oh, we also got a Feather Arrow. So it didn't show us the bed. We got the Feather Arrow. Interesting. I wonder if that... I'm assuming that increases our accuracy. Well, this is interesting. It's crafted in the workbench. So you need a crow feather piece and spider webs. It's a fancy arrow crafted from sleek crow feather bits and strands of spider web. It doesn't show like a, a damage increase, but I imagine it, it, it's gotta be better, right? 
Oh, wow. And then for the Marksman's Cap here, we got pretty decent defense on here, actually. Got as much defense as the Spider Hood, uh, but less than the Ladybug Armor. It is a Tier 3, so our first Tier 3 piece of equipment. We need Berry Leather 5, Spider Webs 5, and Crow Feathers 3. And we get plus a bow attack from this, which is nice. So far, the bird hasn't spawned anywhere within the map. Um, you will see it fly in and land. We do know that it goes to the fountain, uh, but I wanted to get a close look, but it doesn't really seem to be cooperating with us today. Um, now, we don't really have to worry. Sometimes when it lands at the fountain, it will drop a feather, but more often than not, you're going to find it when it flies, when it leaves this perch. So it's going to fly in in the morning, and then sometime during the day, it's going to fly over the map, and it's going to drop a tail feather, and that's when you really need to look out. Wait a second. Something happened here. What is... There's a footprint. This all got moved? There's like this puddle here now. The world is changing around us. I didn't even realize this happened. There's a full-blown footprint right here. Oh, that's cool. They could have crushed the house. Uh, but there definitely seems to be an issue with um, the feathers despawning. I don't exactly know what causes it, but I just saw one drop right near the house, and then it disappeared before it even hit the ground. All right, so we got a couple of these chunks here. or We got the berry chunks that we needed. Um, we've got all of the feather pieces that we needed as well, so we can make the marksman's cap. Um... We'll see how much better this actually makes the bow. More often than not, the bow really isn't that great. And I'm hoping that between the hat and these arrows, that it'll actually be good. Doesn't really say what the feather arrow does, though. So let's equip this bad boy. There we go. And then we got two of these feather arrows. I really have no idea... If that's going to be worth it or not, but let's go ahead and give it a shot in comparison to the regular arrows and hope for the best. I do have to say, though, this hat is very Robin Hood-esque. I quite like it. I think it's probably one of the, I don't know if it's the coolest looking armor or headpiece in the game, but it's definitely nice. Okay, we're going to shoot Stinky here a few times in the face. We've only got six arrows with the regular insect bow. Um, but then we've got two of those new arrows. I imagine we're going to want to get back. I don't know how much... I think it's definitely doing more damage. It's definitely doing more damage. Man, Stinky looking angry. Alright, so now... Wait, how do I switch? <gasps> I just chucked my bow at him. Oh my god, it's way over here. <laughs> oh my god, that was so dumb. Thank God it didn't fall in the spider hole. All right, Stinky, I see you. Uh, L is the swap ammo button. Can we get Stinky stuck again, please? Sweet baby Jesus, that was a disaster. Stinky, where are you at, buddy? I need to test out this feather arrow, man. Grab up a couple more. I can't believe I chucked it. All right, Stink. Come here. Oh, I missed. Oh. I think it did more damage, but then the second one did nothing? Oh boy. All right, well the hat definitely makes things a little bit more better. I think they also said that it was supposed to like inc ooh, increase your accuracy. I don't know if that's necessarily doing anything, but we're definitely doing more damage with our arrows, which is really nice. Because I would love to use the bow more. You just really don't get to. Because the arrows are so bad. And then just using everything else, they did nerf the mint mallet a little bit. So that's something to keep in mind as well. But I do like this hat, and I definitely think it's worthwhile. Just make sure to keep an eye out for when the bird is flying over you. It's going to land at certain spots. You don't have to worry about going to those spots where it lands. Although if it lands on the fountain, there is a chance for it to drop the feathers there. Obviously, I think it'll drop them when it's inside the map. But definitely make sure to keep an eye out when it's flying overhead because that's when you're going to see the feathers fall and you're going to be able to pick them up 
and they'll probably end up on top of grass or something like that. But I do hope you all enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.